I'm here working with Nestor today. I think we are going to throw the primer and paint. There's 10% chance of rain today, which is really great for here. It's super hazy and weird out. Um, might be Sahara dust. It also, Nestor was saying, might be from the big volcano in the Canary Islands. Yeah, so it's we've got this weird haze around. It almost makes it feel like it's like gonna rain, but you can see it's just not like, super blue skies. We heard that it is from that volcano. So crazy coming all the way across the Atlantic um, and causing us all kinds of allergies and dust. Yeah, Nestor left his drill out last night. $200 drill last night. That would have been really shitty if it was gone. I want to hang the mask from the top. So it's just swinging in the air. The piece of river right here on the point. And like this will hang it up in the thing up there. I love my life. 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 No, no, we don't know where tomorrow might bring God the future, the hours away. So me, I live my life today. Me, I live my life today. Yeah, so love me, make me talk when I want to talk. Me, have enough to say. So me, I go live my life today. Me, I go live my life today. So everybody help me sing it out. Oh, oh, me love my life. Oh, oh, me love my life. Oh, oh, me love my life. So me, I live my life. You can see we've got the mask hanging. This is Nestor's genius idea here. We've got the boards up top from 2x4 to 2x4. We've got a piece of rebar through where our lowers attach, where our uppers attach, our shrouds, and down at the bottom of the mask where the pin goes through. And then some wire hanging it from there so it's all airborne so he can spray 360 degrees. And I think we're ready for cleaning and degreasing to prep for paint. The beast. Nestor's constantly buying new guns and then giving them away to people that need them. Yeah. We just got another new one. Low working pressure. We have the gun right here. Ooh, beautiful, that's a sexy pistol. Beautiful powder coated. All black. We have a very, very cool digital regulator Ooh. for the pressure gauge. Nice. Look at your super cute paint get up. We finished um, staging the spar and the boom. And I will just wipe it with some uh, solvent any grease out and I just been mixing the primer and I have the spray gun ready and the compressor ready so can we gonna fill the gun adjust the gun and start working still get nervous but I've been doing this since I'm like I don't know probably 14 ready to paint it's hard with only two people I'm trying to help Nestor Instagram and film on the good camera for our videos a lot. I need more arms. So now Nestor will just adjust the gun so he gets the right amount of paint coming out of there. We sprayed the boom and we saw that you use a whole quart to give it like two coats, three coats of, of, uh, of primer. This obviously looks like it's a little bigger than the boom, <laughs> <laughs> right? So, luckily here we have some friends in the main island that are willing to help us, so I call her up 
and and I also know the guys that own this chimney body shop. So I call and I order a few more parts, and we'll have five and things. You know what I mean? That's how it goes when you're doing a boat project. You feel like you're gonna be finished. In the meantime, we had to let the primer dry for an hour. And now we've been just about an hour. So Nestor is gonna mix up some paint and we're gonna paint the boom today. So that'll be all done. The primer should come on a plane at about 4.30. It'll get here probably around 5, 5.15. When you're in the boat yard and you're paying for the space that you're in, it's you know that's a lot of pressure because every day that you're exactly. there here but we're, not. we're in a free spot we literally could stay here for a month if we needed to we could, for five months if we could leave this boom here for the next six years but no we're trying to get it done as soon as possible we really do want to go sailing but uh, it's going to be a process between this and then all of the rigging and then putting it all back together you know we figured it's going to take about a month maybe more so we're just taking it a day at a time and there's always something else we could be doing if we're not painting we could be sanding other stuff if that stuff all gets painted we can take off chain plates or you know there's so much that needs to be done so Mr. does need extra large gloves struggle. the struggle is real i cannot find extra large gloves in culera i have medium only and look how medium gloves fit Nestor has to put them on like one finger at a time because <laughs> even the fingers themselves like aren't wide enough. All right, we got the paint all mixed up. We let it sit for 15 minutes or so while it activates. And Nestor is ready to paint this boom. Yeah, we sprayed the first coat. It looks great. We have some more paint for giving it out of the coat. So that's what's up. I'm very excited. It looks really good. Looks really good. Nice and shiny. Most importantly, no corrosion. That was our big um, factor in this. Hopefully they will last many, many more years. got done the first of the painting and we are very stoked we just uh, finished the boom we hit it with two or three coats of uh, etching primer we just sprayed uh, two really nice coats of uh, all grip snow white on the boom so first first things first thing to be done back at work yesterday Nestor got the boom all painted as we said, there was not enough primer to do the mast, we realized once we primed the boom. So we ordered up some more paint and we've got that here this morning for more quarts of primer. We're ready to do the mast today, which is really exciting. And I think yesterday afternoon, Nestor came and just uh, worked on the spreaders a little bit. It looks like he got one pretty much sanded. So we're going to get at it today and get this mast painted that'll be a huge milestone super excited <laughs> these are the paint warm-ups <laughs> uh. and this are just got this cool life hack that he saw somewhere where you put tape to create a spout on the can so as you're pouring it you're not wasting as much paint yeah it's not spilling all over and we used it yesterday and it works so good nice light coat in the beginning you get like excited and you want to like instantly cover it primer kind of like holds itself better but if you like do that with the paint and you start putting a bunch to cover it then it drips 
too much paint too. It feels it feels like you're not putting enough paint, but the first coat should be kind of like translucent a little bit. You just keep going, man, 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 and then it starts covering up and building up, and it's less prone for drips, especially when you have so many holes. I feel like the holes really like make for a bucket of paint to sit and then drip. So little by little. I know we're yeah, both color, we're both like loving this this khaki tan color of the primer. The white boom looks very nice as yeah, well. Yeah, it's just very easy for maintaining. We already had a boat that I was like, oh, I'm gonna go crazy and go paint it blue, and it was uh, a lot of work. As you can see, Ventana is it's a very handy Yeah, you can check out. Um, we have a video on how to polish the sides of your boat and make it look like brand new paint, and we did that at least once a year for Ventana, not twice, so lots of work, those darker colors, the salt builds up on them and you can really see the fogginess. I feel like for a cruising boat, white's the color. What would you rather be doing, polishing your boat or taking an adventure? <laughs> Were you just going to answer polishing my boat? <laughs> yep. And I was mixing the paint. We got some Altcraft 2000. Thank you, Papi Salchicha, for hooking me always up. Exciting. 